Meghan Markle's bombshell claim to Oprah about Archie Wrong admits Omid Scobie. Meghan Markle was wrong in her claim Archie was blocked from becoming a prince by members of the royal family, Omid Scobie has admitted. Co-author of Finding Freedom and Royal Biographer, Mr. Scobie claimed Archie had not been blocked from a title as a result of the row between the Sussexes and the firm. Indeed, in a landmark claim, Mr. Scobie added the Duchess had misinterpreted royal procedure over who is deemed a prince or princess. Mr. Scobie, did add, however, there is still much unknown about the fallout between the two sides. Speaking on the new documentary, Harry and Meghan, Recollections May Vary, Mr. Scobie said, if we are only going by what Meghan said to Oprah and what the palace have said so far about the situation with Archie, perhaps one can assume that Meghan was wrong in her interpretation of it. But we also know that there is much more to this story that we don't know about. During the bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan hinted Archie had been blocked from a royal title and therefore a His Royal Highness prefix. She said, they didn't want him to be a prince or princess, not knowing what the gender would be, which would be different from protocol, and said that he wasn't going to receive security. In those months when I was pregnant we have in tandem the conversation of, you won't be given security, not gonna be given a title and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when H.E.S. born. Despite Meghan's claims, the rules over who is anointed a prince or princess are defined under the George V Convention. In a patent issued by the then king, he declared the great-grandchildren of the monarch could no longer be prince or princesses. Only the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales can have their children anointed as prince or princess. Therefore, only Prince George can have the prefix before his name as Charlotte or Louis would not have received the title either. However, in 2012 the Queen issued a similar patent which allowed for all the children of Prince William to be entitled to a prince or princess title, and therefore the his, her Royal Highness prefix. Indeed, only those who have been born through the male line can be given a prince or princess title. Due to this, Princess Anne's children, Zara and Peter do not have his, her royal highness titles. Once Prince Charles ascends to the throne, Archie would therefore be granted a prince title under the convention. Away from the allegations surrounding Archie's royal title, Meghan and Harry are expecting their second child. The baby will be the eighth in line to the throne and comes after the heartbreak of Meghan's miscarriage last summer. In support of the push to the world to take up vaccines, Meghan and Harry will join a Vax Live event aimed at increasing access to COVID vaccines.
U.S. President Joe Biden will also appear at the event put together by anti-poverty group Global Citizen. In a statement, Harry and Meghan said, we will all benefit, we will all be safer, when everyone, everywhere has equal access to the vaccine. We must pursue equitable vaccine distribution and, in that, restore faith in our common humanity. The mission couldn't be more critical or important.